Warning right now for women. Dallas police are searching for a serial rapist. He attacked a woman at the wild wildflower apartments on Pineland Drive and is also suspected in two other assaults at the Wind Ridge and River Park at the Galleria apartments. Demon Fernandez reports. Take a good look at this sketch. It's an image of an unidentified teenager that's rattling some neighbors across North Dallas. He's that young doing this. Police believe the guy in that sketch is a serial rapist who's already targeted women in at least three North Dallas apartment complexes over the past month and a half. The most recent sexual assault happened here at the Wildflower Apartments on Pineland Tuesday afternoon. I do live there and I'm usually home by myself, so that's really scary to know that somebody is doing that. Investigators say the suspect knocked on a woman's door asking for work, then pushed his way into the apartment, pulled out a gun, and sexually assaulted that tenant. The suspect is described as a black male between the ages of 16 and 18, approximately 5 foot 8 inches tall and weighing 140 pounds. Police say the guy has a mark on his wrist and wore a distinct box fade haircut. And that I'm definitely going to be taking more precaution and uh, making sure my doors are locked and everything. Investigators believe the same suspect may be connected to sexual assaults at the Wind Ridge on Dallas Parkway and River Park back in September. Victims are telling police the motives appear to be the same in each case. But this goes for anybody. When somebody knocks on your door, before you open that door, make sure um, you know who is out there. Each of the complexes where the attacks happened is gated. Police say they're working to locate any surveillance images, but could definitely use some leads. I can only imagine that women are probably going to be a little shook hearing about this. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's super, super scary. Neighbors say they'll remain on guard, knowing that criminal is still on the streets. Damon Fernandez, Channel 8 News. The new